How is it that a trust can be private and still work? Hello, this is episode 38 of Estate Planning Weekly, and I am your host, Don Rolfe, the owner and founder of Northwest Legal Planning, an estate planning and probate law firm located in West Lynn, Oregon. You can find out more about me and meet with me by going to myestateplanmeeting.com. So as a professional and someone who does something every day, sometimes I take things for granted, just like you might hear something from your, your doctor may say something and they've made assumptions about what other people know or a mechanic or a plumber or anybody that does something every day. Sometimes we make assumptions and forget that we might know more than the people we're talking to. And just the other day, I got a question from a gentleman that really reminded me that not everybody knows as much about estate planning and trusts as I do. And his question was fantastic because it reminded me that I, you know, maybe I need to assume that people don't know the things that I know and they probably don't. And his question was, is, well, Don, you're telling me that if I set up a trust, it's going to be private, but then at the same time, it's going to be able to distribute all of my assets. How can that possibly be? And uh, it was a fantastic question. And I wanted to explain it to all of you out there so that you can benefit from the question that this gentleman asked me. The way that it remains private is that in order for your trust to be administered, it doesn't ever have to be filed anywhere and become public record. So, you know, with a will, it gets filed with the court for a probate and that becomes public record. You could go online and find uh, wills from all sorts of famous individuals, if that's something that you want to do, who have, who have passed away. Their wills are available online because they're public record. And you know who inherited and what they inherited. In fact, the entire court record becomes a public record. Trusts don't have to be administered through the court. So they do not become a public record in that way. Furthermore, you don't ever have to show the trust document to anyone except for a select number of individuals. Generally, primary beneficiaries are uh, entitled to see a copy of the trust. Trustees will see copies of the trust. But these are all people that you select. And then any other individual that you choose, whether it be an attorney, uh, a tax advisor, uh, a financial advisor, those individuals you can show copies of the trust to and they will see it but you don't have to. You can never be really, you really can't be compelled by, for instance, if you wanted to open up a bank account in the name of your trust and they wanted to say, well, we need to see a copy of your entire trust in order to do so. You can choose not to do business with them. You can, uh, but they can't compel you to give them a copy of the trust. Actually, under the laws of most states and definitely here in Oregon, there's a law that says, you know, third parties are able to rely upon what's called a certification of trust or a certificate of trust, which is a short form that basically says the trust exists. This is the trustee. This is the name of the trust. You're as a third party, you can rely upon this. Uh, the trustee signs it and, and they never have to see an entire copy of the trust. So a trust remains private and is still able to work because only the people that you choose to see the trust see it. So in that respect, it remains private and it works because those people that see it are the ones that are pulling all of the strings behind the curtain and will effectuate your wishes and desires that you have set forth in the trust document. If you have questions about this or any other estate planning uh, issue, question, matter, whatever, please feel free to reach out to me. You can schedule a complimentary half hour estate planning strategy with me uh, by going to myestateplanmeeting.com. It's absolutely free uh, to schedule that. I will happily answer any questions that you have and then also talk to you about your estate planning options. So again, Trusts remain private because they do not get filed with the court. They do not become public record. And the only individuals that are going to see them are people that you have hand selected and made part of your estate plan. I hope that uh, helps you. If you liked this, please hit the like button. Uh, if you have questions, again, you can reach out to me or you can leave comments below. If you know anyone who might like this information or this inform you feel this information might be beneficial to them, please do share it with them. I would really appreciate that. Again, I'm Don Rolfe, and until next time, take care. Goodbye.